This is a video chart presentation of ComDev International Limited. ComDev trades on the Toronto Stock Exchange, our ticker CDV. Now, there's one main reason that we're looking at this chart. You can see back here in January, stock came down to the area of 340, 345. That was followed with a nice move up to around 420. Slowly, it slid back down, bottomed out at 345. Followed that with another move all the way back up to around 430. Made what could have been considered a cup and handle pattern. Of course, it failed in the handle. Broke through a real solid support just over top of $4. And came right back down to this area of 345 again. With that, it's a triple bottom of sorts. Not exactly, but pretty close proximity. To bouncing off a of support right around 345. So we just want to keep an eye on this going forward. Closed modestly up on Tuesday, 1.4%. 236,000 shares traded. Actually an increase in volume over previous days. So we just want to see if the support's going to hold again. And potentially lead to another nice move upward. Now I see MACD still down in bear chart territory below zero. But is trying to trend upward. Even as the stock price is sliding down. That's enough to pay attention to it. See if this trend is going to try and shift back towards bullishness by seeing the MACD break back through into positive territory. Similar to what it did back here in April. Trending upward a little bit. Broke through zero. Nice share appreciation followed. Slow Stow is still down in bear chart territory as well. Should be pretty much expected. The stock's sliding off. There's no real momentum in the play. Slowly edging its way upward with higher lows. But really needs to get through that 50 mark. Show that the bulls are taking control of the momentum. Money flow index follows that same pattern down here around 20. Just telling me that the price is depressed. No momentum in the play as well. Again, yeah, not getting much from that indicator, but that's not too big of a surprise either. And you can see the relative strength index is going right along with the idea of some momentum. It seems to be trying to build, and a reading of 43 is reaching that neutral point of 50. You know, the bulls and the bears have control of it. Obviously, you want to see it trending on the upper half of that indicator to show strong momentum. Now for us, this bottom support must stay intact. If it breaks beneath that, there's no more support in sight. For us, it would be a walk away from it type of play. Those like to play quick bounces if it broke below. There's a chance it might try and rebound right back up. Test this old support, which would now be resistance. But for those looking at this chart, because of a triple bottom type look, the pattern would be pretty much defunct. If it wants to break far below its 345 mark. So pretty important for us for that to stay in place. Now from a resistance standpoint, see a little bit right here at 360. That ties in with an area of resistance here in the recent past. Also going back further in the year, it was an area of support. Would suspect that's going to be an area of resistance now. A little bit more here at 370, but a much more significant point of resistance at $3.80. We view that as a key point. A break through that, and there's a pretty good chance it's going to come up here and test some more resistance around $4 and try and fill this gap back to this old support point, which now will serve as resistance right there at 403. Not going to really worry too much about identifying resistance points after that. Safe to say there's going to be some around 410, some more at 420, but a primary resistance will be this old high at 432, which would be a pretty significant breakout point for this chart, being that it struggled to move above that level for more than a year now. So even over the last few months, the stock has fallen from that level. It's actually not in a bad position right now because of being a strong support, as one will follow along with to see how it performs. But as always, it's really my interpretation of the CDV chart. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the AlpineStocks.com website to view the full disclaimer disclosure. And do not base any investment decisions on any material found on the website and or its video chart. No person employed by Alpine Stocks is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker-dealer. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.